Well, hello there, everybody. Let's try to survive yet another night. At least that was the plan. The first session was a wild chase all across the land, seeking some safe shelter. My dude had a car crash. That was the opening scenario. Right here between Oxbow and Brewster. And in the first session, well, let's just say I did my best to stay alive. And I did. And here I clipped down a Amigo, um, be lying in front of that house. And the apartment tower was where I left off in the fir after the first session, so. Pretty big oof. The situation right now, well, I'm I'm stuffed with food and uh, all manner of other things. The question I must ask myself now is, where will be my base camp for the time being? And how will I pull it off? I mean, the city here provides a, a lot of opportu gun store. <laughs> opportunities, I want to say, but it's also pretty dangerous. Pretty, pretty dangerous. It's such a big town. It's uh, totally stuffed with zombies. Trailer Park down here is pretty annoying as well. Paper boy, hey there. Long time no see, but I'm happy to be here. Well, yesterday I was taking a break. I I really don't know when when you were here the last time, but I feel like it wasn't that long. Well, let's see. I think exploring into this direction looks like an okay choice. So, what's my armor saying? I feel like I'm missing some some arm and leg leg protection. Definitely. Beyond that, everything is really, really good on this uh, gear, but we should try to do something for the legs and the arms. Week or two? Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, it's been a busy time for, for us, too. That's true. So, up here, I haven't opened the other apartments yet. There's a shotgun here. And all the other doors are locked. I'm not too willing to to use my valuable combat knife to smash something here. So we're we're going to do it like like that. Store that thing in the sheath and let's smash that lamp. Here we go. That's more like it. Pipe. Pipe is the ideal uh, item to smash down doors with. Oh, an alarm. I really hope that doesn't uh, bring me into any trouble, officer. So... Let's open that floor as the first thing we do tonight. Looks like a pipe ain't that uh, efficient there. My dude ain't uh, capable to to get that thing open. All right, so crowbar, makeshift crowbar needs a pipe. So how about that? Maybe that'll work better. Yeah, why can't I do that? Uh, 
I mean, because I was wielding it? No. I don't quite get it. Oh, come on, game. It's missing. <laughs> I got a pipe. My can't I craft? <laughs> it, it even tells me that I have the component. God. Take that door. So... Well, let's swap over to a plank. So that's really odd. I think with a plank I should be able to bash down the doors quicker. The hammering tool and the pipe. I mean... You mean... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that must be the case. The pipe would be the hammering tool and therefore it doesn't work. Brilliant. Ah, there we go. Just bashing down the doors. It's uh, really worth taking the time. Alright. Let's see. I, I have decided that this place here will for now be my base of operations. It's the best thing that will come my way for now, and most likely I can survive a couple of days in here. So, let's, uh, wait a sec, the Beretta goes here. Well, maybe here. Sometimes it's confused because the pipe sometimes counts as the hammering tool. Yeah, 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 that, that's exactly what happened there, thanks. It would have taken me ages to discover what you said there. So, why, oh god, so, does, the game has changed in that regard? <laughs> when I press E now, I can't, I, I'm not getting this uh, side window here anymore. They fixed that away. It's now different. But I do like the, uh, the looks of it. Okay. I'll have to uh, get used to that, though. I love it that this game changes so much, but sometimes it's also quite a hassle. Okay. Well, let's not uh, ponder about that too much. Rags. Always take rags with you. So I need something with a hammering quality. If I remember correctly, there are pans that count as a hammering tool as well. Or shouldn't I be able to just take two pipes? Would that work? I guess so. Small fire extinguisher. No, no tool qualities. But I'm in a town, it shouldn't be too hard to find some hammering tool. Honestly. What's that process? Okay. Things you got you you don't expect here. Blobs and bandits. So let's see. If I take down another lamb, and if I have a pipe, which I can use to hammer, maybe I can craft a crowbar. You were right, paper boy. You were right. So, all right. So we got a uh, we got a makeshift crowbar. I can't. Didn't my dude have a uh, backpack? Okay. Obviously no large backpack. 
Not large enough, that is. Okay, well, that sucks. Not being able to carry my crowbar around with me is a big down, uh, downgrade. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, thanks for helping me out there. That really was quite confusing. Okay, so let's go uh, for more kitchen plundering. Exacto knife. These are pretty good. Ah, here. I knew I'd find one sooner or later. There's a hammer. Hammer is the poor man's crowbar. What I love about the hammer is that it enables you to deconstruct furniture. Looting one of these is a real, real good thing. And they are quite often in the in kitchens. Ooh, That's what I wanted to see. So, with duct tape, well, I can't craft myself some some uh, makeshift armor. Sorry about old milk. Distracted me. Just decided that I want to use as much of this food as possible because most of that will go bad in a couple of days. Now is the golden time of, uh, of food. Things will be bad quite soon. Okay. So let's let's organize the inventory. I got way too many things on my on my buddy here. He's on forty two kilo carrying weight. I think for for now this place here might be a good. Uh, good spot to store things at just here right in the hallway because I don't plan to do a a real base if that makes any sense this is not supposed to be a a place where I craft a lot and so on. it's more like a place where I will uh, rack up my loot and drive it away with my car that I will hopefully find somewhere here. <laughs> some story like that. So let's toss away some of those batteries. And let's see. Now, it's looking a lot better. It's still 33 kilo. Jeez. I've got a mess kit on me though. Camping mess kit. Okay. This is pretty cool, but I don't want to carry that on my person all the time. I really want to reduce the the weight on my dude. I mean I could just drop my backpack whenever we're going to go into combat. I think that's as a matter of fact the smartest thing to do. Okay. Now then. I think that's as good as it gets. Okay. It's pretty late in the evening though, so uh, probably I'll just uh, grab some some book and read liverlicious recipes your kids will love while the sun is setting. And we're going to start. Oh, oh, I think I read, I read it in the wrong book. So, why is there blood in that bed? I don't want to sleep in a bed that's soiled with blood, even if it's my own. So, here we go. Good night, my prince. Don't wait to sleep. So far, so good. I mean... I could prowl around in town and try to traverse the city by night and plunder there a little bit, but I don't feel sneaky tonight. I'm personally not a big fan of uh, sneaky play, uh, gameplay tactics unless I really need to. I find it quite tedious, you know. Okay. Good morning, sunshine.
Mm. Okay. Here, battle hammer. Can I disassemble that? No. Mm. Too bad. Well, let's store books and such uh, over here. What I'm looking for right now are uh, yeah. things like these books that have no educational value to craft the lowest quality of armor. I'm going to armor myself with the Sutras of Buddha. Just watch me go. Maybe. Maybe not. So here. Paper arm guards. We don't have enough paper. So the Sutras of Buddha alone won't do. Too bad. Wine making for beginners. Okay, but I think now it's uh, enough to do at least paper leg guards. It ain't much, but better than nothing. Is there anything big that changed? Well, the biggest change that I'm seeing so far is that if you examine a, a stack of items, you don't get that uh, fancy thing here anymore. Instead, all the inventory management is now managed by G, uh, and the, by pressing G and in this uh, window here. Can't sign out, I don't like it. And of course, there's still advanced inventory. I don't know what changed beyond. I really got no clue. I haven't played lately too much, and they also made the nested containers a little bit more accessible here in the in these uh, window in, in these windows here. Something I'm enjoying a lot too. Okay, so I'd say it's time for breakfast. Why is my dexterity low? The shakes because I'm hungry. Dang. So, there's nothing ah, here. That stuff will go bad soon. Just looking for things that need to be eaten as soon as possible. Right now, that means scavenging through three different apartments looking for food. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yuck. I accidentally ate an, a raw egg. Forgive me. At least it wasn't ammonia or bleach. Hmm. That hacksaw. It's such a nice find. It's yeah, so, uh, so hard to find other items that have metal sawing quality of two. Definitely gonna pick that up. And definitely gonna dismantle the liverlicious uh, recipes here because I already got a copy there. The modern rifleman has to go with me though. Uh, satirical literature. Also good, also good stuff to make armor out of. Armoring myself with with uh, humor and the sutras of Buddha. What can go wrong? Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go downstairs and check out the situation. Oh yeah, I know what I want to do today. Mm 
burst off. I want to check out that um, Miko I, I I killed yesterday. Bruised corpse of Miko. Can I butcher that thing? Mm, should I butcher that thing? It's a friggin' alien. Mm. No, no, no. That's, that's really not necessary. So, we're going to deconstruct the window here. Bam. Oh, that was actually a good idea to, to do so. What's that? Puddle of blood. A spike board. Oh, it's a trap. Uh, I, I don't want to try disarming that and hurt myself accidentally. I just avoid that. So... They were defending cheese pizza, but, well, the trap is defending cheese pizza. So, here we're going to loot recklessly. Well, maybe not the ketchup. I uh, lately discovered that it's not that wise to, to go for these. Fish noodle casserole. No. Oh, it's a shame. Such These, these foods, they are so hard to craft, and... Uh, you know, it'll all go bad soon, but you can't change that. Let's pick up those rags. Pizza cutter. Alright, so there's one thing, the butchering kit. I want to have that, so we're going to need a butcher knife, a carving knife, and a meat cleaver. That's a pretty, uh, it's really good to have that. It's easy to do that. Stranger, eat it, what could go wrong? <laughs> well, stranger, you know, I, I, won't, I, I won't do that, man. I won't be eating the Migo. I'm quite tempted to try out the butchering, though, to see if I find something weird. But somehow I'm also afraid that the thing, that this thing might, might do something for, uh, messed up there. So, well, let's see, there's tea... Nothing too interesting there. Batter up. Okay. So there's a uh, basement around me, around the corner here. Do I own? No, I don't own a flashlight. Oh, well, that's something I have to change. That's outrageous. Flashlights are found in. In kitchens quite often. Let's see. Not in this one, though. I don't know if I could feed some other person the Migo. I can't tell you. Alright. So. Okay. Good. Let's keep going there. There's a church. I don't really want to go there. And there's another house. Let's see if I can find something I need there. the apartment block so that's that's this little thing here okay oh there's the front entrance it's wondering where where that was computer world i'll take that okay oh yeah we had a jolly good time here and a flashlight like i said Long strings, six of them. Duct tape, more of that. Always pick up the duct tape if you can. It's not that important, but I really like to do so. Let's see. Is there water? 
I don't want to loot the food here, because this is right around the corner. Orange soda. But, uh, I've made a habit of growing a habit in, in picking up all that drinkable stuff that's lying around. There's some paper. Because I made the experience that drinkable fluids were always the first thing that uh, that went down for me. Okay. So there's another house up there. And let's see. Oh yeah, there was that cockroach house. Frankly disgusting. Okay, let's see what's here. Another rag. Just keep looting those racks. An atomic coffee maker. Okay. Perfect. So, clean water is now not a problem anymore. This thing is, uh, is massive. It only has a boiling one quality, but that's endless because it's uh, powered by a miniature atomic uh, fusion reactor thing. I don't know. You can actually dismantle that. It's quite fun. For now, I won't. That's uh, that's pretty much a jackpot. Okay, so water ain't an issue anymore. Good to know. Scrap that beer, nevertheless. The atomic coffee maker can't craft beer. So let's see. Carving knife. There we go. Butcher set is really good to own. I always try to get one as quick as possible. Filter mask. It's actually quite desirable too. Here's a duffel bag. Well, can I wear that? So, how encumbered am I? Well, it's okay. It could be worse. I'm merely uh, wearing a duffel bag. But... Okay. So, of course, I do plan to leave that thing here. But duffel bags are quite rare, and they they provide a lot of storage. And while I'm here. I decided to get rid of all that food that I looted. Because, you know, there's no reason to carry all that with me. Okay. So, let's see. Do I... Ah, yeah, books. Books are quite heavy, too. And since this dude is running around with a uh, with a rifle, my carrying capacity ain't that high, sadly. So batteries, I'll, I'll toss the duct duct tape and all these other things there too. And most importantly, I want to get rid of the atomic coffee maker because that thing weighs uh, quite a lot. The hacksaw can stay here too. Syringe, thermometer, scalpel. All these things. Well, maybe not the scalpel. The scalpel is actually really a really good thing. Fine cutting three is, I think, a quite a rare thing. Exacto knives have fine cutting too. Stethoscope. Oh, stethoscopes are. Well, I, I, I may have. I might be keeping that. You can. Uh, crack safes for those, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's get back to town. Alright, I'll be trying to clear town into this direction. This is just a housing area, or I want to go towards the gun store. I haven't fully decided yet. But I have a vague memory of a uh, shocker zombie or something really messed up there. At the open sewage. But maybe I'm wrong about that. So 
zombie technician. Yeah, there's a shocker zombie, exactly. Sitting in there and, uh... Okay. So, what that means for me is that I, I won't be getting close to that thing. So I'll even drop a note here, shocker zombie. Okay. It's, uh tragedy because that gun store is all of a sudden a lot more dangerous to go towards too. Is that solar car functional? I gotta check that out. But I think the answer was no. I forgot it, but uh hi there lawnmower. I think oh yeah uh, um it was I'm missing the key and it has a security system on it. So, wait a sec. Since when? Okay, so that's, that's not good. Controls have been changed for bad. Control vehicle. So, but why doesn't it react then? Ah, here. Can't access us with that. Jeez. Half, about one a week I, I don't play this and all of a sudden the most basic things are gone. Here. I could hotwire that thing, but I don't want to trigger the alarm because, you know, there's a shocker zombie around the corner. Dave, hi there. <laughs> well, I could plunder the, the solar cells, that's for sure. But, well, let's see. The town is large, and I've just started plundering it. It's uh, pretty disturbing to have so many cockroaches here, though. So... Man, the hammer is not enough to uh, crack open that thing. Children's book. Okay. Well, when in doubt, smash a window on the side where zombies won't hear it. Canned chicken, large tin cans. Oh boy. It's particularly valuable food because it's long lasting, but not today. Not today. Or today, well. Well, let's keep that duct tape. I mean, oh yeah, here's another thing Misc repair kit. I only need a wood saw for that. And they are not that uncommon in town. New York wiener, Robin. What a tragedy! <laughs> Dental floss. If I remember correctly, that was a pretty good source for bread. Mm hmm. I can backpack. Always love these things. Well, there is a good chance of finding all manner of different things. Some car dealership could be a good spot for finding a ride. Well, let's see.
lots of baseball fields. A couple of gun stores. Laundromat. Okay. So, yeah, well, I don't know if these are located in town or out of town. Anywho, let's keep going, shall we? So, what's the matter with that question mark? Oh, hi there, Mr. Zombie. The hit ratio of this character is quite abysmal. That's even though I got melee 4 and piercing weapons too. Why is that combat knife so sucky? Yeah, okay. Two hit bonus minus one. My paper arm guards are already chowed down. I need more paper. Oh, wait a sec. I'll take that. food More racks these standard households have uh, always pretty pretty similar things but I do like to go for them until I have a couple of items together so there's another hacksaw Bit of duct tape. More duct tape. A funnel. Oh uh, well. Probably gonna pick that up too. Uh well. Nah. I don't want to mess up my combat knife even more. If it if it's if this combat knife gets damaged, it's going to be even worse than it already is. So, maybe it's because you're carrying one. Well, the uh, backpack definitely doesn't help either. So, let's see how much better it'll be without that. But, well, the modificator on melee attack rolls is still the same. So, let's see. Maybe if I drop the carbine as well still the same. So... Bottom line, it ain't worth it, uh... taking off my backpack and my rifle, because in the end, my dodging is, uh, with or without equally bad. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I should drop anything, you know? So, let's see how much of that street I can clear out today. My paper arm guards got uh, destroyed by the cockroach. You played CDDA for 30 minutes? Well, maybe you'll come back one day. One of those games that take a while to sink in. So I really need some some better weapon sooner or later. 
I mean, for now, I think it will be sufficient. So, let's let's go for the cockroach house. Let's see why they are there. I've never had cockroaches on the street before. There's so many eggs out there, and they're all gonna rot. Okay. It's a tragedy. All that fine food. So... How much paper do I have on me? 15, okay. So, if I find something, I might be just crafting fresh paper guards. I mean, paper arm guard. Oh, you know what I mean. The hand loader's helper. Why is everything right now too big to be picked up? I'm confused by the inventory management yet again. Okay. There's nothing too interesting in there. Torso encumbrance affects dodge rate. Yeah, okay. But... Okay, it doesn't get... Uh, announced here. That would be... That, that would be a, a, a good reason to lower that. Let's try if I if I suffer less. Oh yeah, the Bible. That's another good book to uh, craft some armor out of. So what am I lacking again? The arm guards. Sutras of Buddha, Bible, wonderful. Just it's all just coming together nicely. Okay, the cockroach wants my. Once my person dead doesn't want me loitering in its house. There we go. Now, where were we? Manufacturing armor in this place here, so. Hiking backpack, combat knife. What has happened here? I'm utterly confused. So, we're going to wear these. And obviously I'm wearing that hiking backpack now as well. The situation is uh, growing comical. So, let's pick up the multivitamins. War novels. Let's disassemble those war novels. Things are already bad enough as they are. All about swords. Oh, that's looking interesting. And there's a fireplace here. Conquer me sweetly. Okay. Okay. Now, let's drop the big things here for now. And see how, how it fights with that now. It also has the advantage that your backpacks and stuff don't get uh, damaged that easily. Alright. That went a lot better. Beauty magazine. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Can't loot while not wearing my storage stuff. Well, gives me 
Gives me don't starve wipes, where whenever you want to fight, you drop, drop down your uh, your backpack as well. But works a lot better this way. Works a lot better this way. Definitely something I'll do more often now. Might be a little bit tedious, but that tedium saves lives. Or blood of my limbs. So. Oh, antiseptics. Always a good find. really lovely to see that all these homes get expanded. There's a couple of new items in these houses that I haven't seen before yet. This is not quite the newest uh, version here. I'll just have a crispy cranberry before we go further. I could consume pairs of contact lenses. Oh, that's unsettling. Well, it works as long as ain't unexpected when it comes around the corner. It's better than leaving your stuff behind. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But usually, that didn't happen actually too often. Oh, there's a belt. Belts are good. Belts provide storage room for items. Okay. Oh, there's a nice, uh, strong battery there. Do I own a screwdriver already? Yes, I do. Okay, good. A multi-tool. A multi-tool is something I'm looking for still. Just realized that. This is a typical uh, item I like to loot from kitchens as well. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, well, alcohol mostly, but whatever. I'm not picky right now. If you can't drink it, I pick it. Alright. Oh, there's, uh, is that another solar car? Oh, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, and if I see that correctly, there's also a, a, uh, what's it called again? <laughs> Here, a rubber hose. Wonderful. That's really good. Alright, bring it, dudes. Consume lenses, yeah, well, you don't ask me. I think the uh, consume option for the lenses was more meant to be uh, putting them in your eyes or something like that. Okay. Well, I'm grabbed, but that thing's almost down. No. Jeez. Strength 8? I think I shouldn't be trying to break uh, grabs that often. Especially not against tough zombies. Okay. So this dude's melee combat isn't that good. Maybe we'll be getting there in the near future, but for now, stuff's not looking too good here. So, the rubber hose, though, is a really nice find. So, please tell me that this thing is drivable. No, the controls are broken. Dang. Yet another solar car. Yet another disappointment. <laughs> okay. Smartphone. Well... At least I'm looting a lot of rags for bandages here. Can't be underestimated. So, meat cleaver. Meat cleaver, meat cleaver. Okay, wonderful. 
sometimes there's a multi-tool among these. Long strings are pretty cool loot here as well, though. Once you've been through a couple of uh, kitchens, you really have an assortment of cool things. Medium batteries are also good loot. Okay. Children's book. Bondage mask. Inky. King James Bible. Trench coat. Oh, well. I like my military uniform style though. Okay, there's another basement. American flag. Yay! There are NPCs at starting places that feline suit. Sorry guys, that's... Uh, we got a bondage mask, we got a feline suit, we got a US American flag. What a place! Yeah, what I, try, what I was trying to say before that this, uh, distracted me was that these American flags, they are quest items for certain people. Okay, let's... Uh... Yeah, well, but I can't... Let's see. Can I pick up the flashlight? Yeah, I can. So... Alright, it's a safe one. So let's pick up the backpack and such. And how about an aspirin? I'm pain. Doran, hey there, welcome. So happy to see you. A wood saw. Oh yeah, that's uh, the misc repair kit. Oh, I messed up and destroyed the exacto knife. Yeah, well, whatever. Err. Ah, here. The in-progress misc repair kit. So, we got to pick up another exacto knife from somewhere, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Well, let's see. Wasn't there one here in that kitchen? Yeah. There we go. So that's a pretty useful item. The Misc Repair Kit uses duct tape and repairs all manner of different items. I haven't understood uh, a quite long time that you can craft them yourselves, by yourself. What? I can't follow the, those lines, they... I don't know what you wrote there. Okay, so a, a drivable car would be totally dope as well. So, what I do enjoy about dropping my backpacks before fighting is that they don't get damaged anymore. So... Die already. Alright, so that's, that's really, really, really bothersome how hard combat is with this character so far. So I'm in a lot of pain. Probably should go back home and... and chill down a bit. Alright. Don't you worry, Dave. So... let's see. Garage or often... Pretty nice areas there. Barbed wires. Okay. Let's 
still looking for a crowbar. Proper one, you know. There's still a handful of items that I that, that I need. A monocle. Well, well, good sir. So let's uh, pick up the aspirins. Okay. More batteries. Out inventory. Forty-four kilo. Vegetable peelers. Ice cream scoop. Are these items actually necessary for something? Keep wondering about these things. So I need a butcher knife. That's what I'm lacking. And let's see water. Lots of books. Oh no, actually a game. Off a male quarterly. Survivor's note note. I woke up with a dozen bears in a drive outside the vault. Okay. Bear was speaking. Usually I would say, dude, you're tripping, but not here. N not in the uh, post-apocalyptic world anymore. All manner of messed up things can happen. There's travel pack. But I don't want to pick up even more of these items right now. Okay. Let's see what I can find downstairs. We do the flashlight. Oh, I think that's a sewing workshop. Oh, yeah. All right. Pretty sure that I can uh, loot a sewing kit here. It's pretty good. Well, I'm going to bandage my dude once I go uh, for a longer sleeping time. Because right now, I'd just uh, get the bandages destroyed right away again. Here, Taylor's kid. There we go. Just what I thought I'd be finding here. Ooh, okay. So, I'll drop a note here. Sewing cellar. It's pretty important to leave notes like those for me because I'll forget 90% of these things in a couple of uh, hours or days. But if I if I leave those notes for myself, it's pretty good to, to have these stashes because there's a lot of material there which you can use and access there. But I figured it might be about time to... Save our or or drop a couple of our findings here, especially with entire kits lying around in my inventory. Oh, the rubber hose as well. But beyond that, well, a couple of med medicinal things. One more time, well, I'm gonna let my uh, my dude have a little bit of a rest here. Like sit down for two hours, wait for the pain to subside. Light cross sounds like something good to use for skin. <laughs> yeah, the different materials have a lot of different uses. Yeah, you can uh, do, you can craft different uh, qualities of items and. If my crafting skill is good enough, I will be also able to craft pretty useful armor items out of these. Especially these uh, higher quality materials are very, very desirable. So my dude is tired. Let's say down. That's a uh, down down uh, downside of his uh, of my perks. So. Well, 
Let's see. I mean, going for a short period of sleep reduced the pain on my character substantially, so I'm okay with that. Horseradish. Not too joyful. I gotta check out what horseradish actually is. It seems to be nothing pleasant. Raw, at least. No bad body cash. Why not read, though? Because my dude was tired. I got the, uh... I got sleepy as a down... Uh, as a, uh, bad trait. And I figured that I'd rather sleep now before it's going to bite my back later. Because I want to stay exploring a little bit longer today. Hazmat zombie. Well. There's another car up ahead and... Zombie brute. Oh man. So, well, not really a piece of good news. I'm not sure if I want to take that, that uh, guy in melee, but then, on the other hand, do I want to fire a gun in a city? Not so much. Not so much. I mean, for now, he didn't uh, spot me, but it's only a matter of time. Do you hear a clang? Okay. So, let's uh, drop the packs and see where this uh, evolves into. I mean, at the end of the day, the more I do this with this character, the better he'll be at fighting with the given weapons, so definitely helps a lot. And the amount of damage I'm taking per blow is that uh, terribly high, so... I'm not that super concerned. Okay, zombie cop. But I am quite concerned about that zombie brute. I'm wondering if I should just grab the uh, Beretta that, that I got in my apartment tower. And use it for that dude. So, the cop has a filthy Kevlar vest. And it's not even that damaged. Okay. This is very personal. Sterlian, hey there. Thank you so much for your subscription. I haven't been able to watch your streams these last two months. Okay. <laughs> Don't you worry. I never uh, spend any bad thoughts about... Uh... You guys not being around for a while. It's either you're busy with something else, or we're going to see each other in another time. But thank you so much for the that uh, continuous support there. Really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. You'd think that CDDA would have some sort of noise-making item, like a portable stereo or something. Yes. Yes, it does. So we're going to pick up that Beretta, because I'm pretty sure that nine, nine rounds should be enough. So we're going to pull that bad boy away from the rest of the town. And I'd say, I mean, my dude is not good with handguns, but I'm... I, I hope that marksmanship will do the trick, but let's let's try that. I mean, I got more than enough other uh, options in my 
in my inventory. Yeah, of course it does. I, I just have to... I mean, if you... Uh, just check out that card. When I was uh, fiddling around with that, the game actually asked me whether or not I want to sound the alarm or trigger the alarm on that thing. So, now the zombie is gone. Okay. He... He noticed my plan. Okay. Is that crawling zombie inside? Yeah. Here's the zombie brood. I'll try to attract that dude, actually. Because, you know... He is a problem that I want to get rid of as quick as possible. Okay, well, so much for that plan to pull him away from the uh, from the center of commotion. But okay, whatever. Steady or aim. Oh, well. here. Twenty nine damage. 24 damage. 26 damage. Okay. I'll I'll just keep firing away, you know. I might be Okay, I'm, I'm grabbed. So Oh, well. I'm I think I'm better off taking the knife. So let's see what I attract with that noise. But I I think it was the the smartest choice to to gun that dude down before he before he was uh, too much of an issue for me. So, zombies, they, they always come and check out the, the source of the noise. There's nobody there, of course, they don't uh, do anything else, but... Oh, man. I messed up myself, though. I stepped right into the zombie. So, combat shirt is suffering a lot there. Another zombie child stealing its cookies. So I still hope that you're uh, well and all, Sir Liang, if you're still hanging around. And the time will come that you have to find more time. Okay, so I got that. Let's uh, let's let's do another case of break and entry. Wait a sec. There's another zombie coming down the road. Yeah, so uh, fighting definitely works a lot better without the. So, let's see, we're still lacking that butcher knife. Wonder how many racks I did already loot. 21. Okay, we're working on it. Cream soda. Well, whatever. Meat pizzas, oh man. Great, now I'm getting hungry. That would be really awesome now. Some some big fat pizza. But well It's not it's neither the time nor Nor do I want to spend that kind of money right now. Alright. So Yeah, I'll need something, some new uh, breast piece soon. 
Well, I... I see it like that. These are just scratches, and they are subs the bleeding subside extremely quickly. And while somebody said once that you have a chance of infecting yourself when you're doing it like that, it never happened to me. And if something doesn't happen, I'll wait until it happens, you know? Because... I was playing this game quite a while, and, uh, well, I didn't see any downside of uh, not bandaging these. I'm bandaging everything which is, uh, which is more... which is bleeding more strongly. Okay, there's uh, another zombie up ahead. Okay, so slowly... Yeah, there's piercing weapons 3 now. It's noticeable that things aren't as horrible anymore. Okay. Another basement. It's, it's a safe one, though. Clean water! Awesome. I mean... It's not that important anymore, because... My dude has a atomic coffee maker at home. Compressed air horn. Weren't you asking if there's items designed to make noise? <laughs> yeah, bandages also help to heal faster. That's true. But they also get ripped away when you're getting attacked again. So for now, I was faring pretty well with bandaging myself when I was going to rest. And bandaging myself if the wounds were bleeding too hard. I mean, I'm by no means an expert in this game. I'm still exploring my way around. But you don't heal much while you're running around in town. That's one thing I'm sure about. So there's a pawn shop. I'm really interested in that. So, let's drop the backpacks again. It's clobbering time. Is the hazmat zombie coming too? Yeah. Alright, that dude's pretty roughed up already. Okay. Oh, he's already got a joint. You've got to keep that. Well, the grabs, filter mask, cartridge, yeah, here we go, just what I like to have. So, let's see if I can enter that pawn shop, and also, oh, hello there, nice. There's a brazier, and you, we can cook here. Now that's a uh, that's a lucky thing. There's even a uh, sleeping place there. Also, good find. Also, I could have uncovered a couple of extra things. I'm not sure about it though. Garage, gas station, so that's where we're headed next. In the long run. Okay. So, there's, uh, there's a shop. Okay, let's take down the other zombies here. And then I can finally check out that car. Ooh, yeah. So, well, probably I just uh, needed some some practice, you know, some extra practice on this character. Because right now things are coming together a lot better. So, wheels lack too bad. 
I never like it when it starts like that. Okay. So there's that open sewer with a shocker zombie. So I don't even want to get get into that direction closer. The further I keep my reality bubble away from that, the better. Oh, there's another hybrid car. Where are you guys? Oh, okay. Down there. And up there. Well, I want to know about this car. Wheels, yes. Security system. The engine is gone. Crap. Okay, well, would have been too easy, I guess. All right, let's take down Fatty. Okay. All right, so what I'm noticing is that I'm getting hit a lot less often than before. And yeah, dodging also slowly gets uh, gets trained here, really slowly though, but it does. All right, this is going to be a rough ride though. Oh boy, that's a lot of zombie. Let's uh, kite them away a bit. The more, the better. I don't want to uh, let this horde grow. Okay, let's roll. First guy down. PK zombie down as well. Uh, okay. All right. There. I was always trying to stand in a way that only one of them was uh, able to attack me. I find that pretty important. Dance, dance, dance. Okay. Nice book. Okay, so... Apart from that, I think this was enough exciting stuff for for one day i'll i'll send my dude back into the into the apartment tower let's uh, enter the next best home and blunder the freezers items here So since I'm on my way back home, you know, might as well pick up as much food as possible. Oh god, and there's a tough and there's a tough guy asking for trouble. Okay, my dude. You think you're tough? Let's find out. Alright, there we go. Get away from me, punk. Let's get in there. The more food stuff I can gather, the better. Wait a sec. Oh, I'm uh, over my carrying capacity. I see. So, what up here, though? Pearls and silver. <laughs> okay, that 
was a valuable transport. Interesting. Okay, so that was today's haul, I'd say. All that, all those drinks, they weigh a lot. It's always like that. Glass bottles alone. All right. Okay. Let's get rid of the books. Really need to get myself a a proper sorting system and a proper base soon. I don't want to live like that too long here. Or it uh, it grows over my head, you know. So, beyond that, I think I must have get rid of most of the items there. Okay. So, let's see. What are we going to read today? Modern Rifleman. All about swords. So, well... Food Handling 1. Devices 1. Mechanics... Devices 0. Mechanics 0. Vehicles 0. Electronic zero fabrication is pretty low too. So, Top Gear magazine. Well, let's start with tailoring. Yeah, tailoring is a good choice. Okay. Jidum, hi there. Blood spells an F on the ground. <laughs> Too bad that I didn't notice that. <laughs> okay. So, let's have some orange juice. And some fresh chili con carne. Yum. It's pretty late already, so... Let's bandage our wounds. Oh, wait a sec. Makeshift bandages. I could and should have break them, but not today. Let's use the good bandages for today. And the makeshift ones for the other body parts. Alright. Rest well, my prince. Okay. Regaining a lot of HP this night. Oh, yeah. Basically, uh, back on my back on my feet already. Okay, good stuff. Start out with cheese and a vegetable pa oh, God. Yeah, pizza. Pizza, oh, great. Doesn't matter about it. So, oh, Ash, hi there. You're a bit late. Doesn't matter, it's so cool that you're uh, dropping by never, uh, nevertheless. Okay, so let's see. I want to check out if I can't conquer that street with the pawn shop. I mean... Probably the uh, pawn shop will be a total disappointment, and the items in there won't be won't be interesting at all. But you never know unless you try. 
happy to hear that you uh, had a good time with friends. Or at least I hope it was a good time. There we go. Candy cattle. Ah, Chocolate candies shaped like cattle. Okay. I can't leave those. Zombie hunter. Ugh, yuck. So that's something we have to get rid of here. Ow. Friggin' thing. I hate cockroaches. So, okay. Let's get back to the Beretta. Feeling a lot better with a gun at my disposal for, uh, with that zombie hunter. Although I don't think it's going to be necessary. Oh gosh. So, okay, this is bad. So, my, my combat knife is in the backpack, but I'm pretty sure if I would wear the backpack... Yeah, well, whatever. <sighs> okay. Good thing that I made the decision quickly. So, let's see. That carving knife is going to be okay. That was the problem. The carving knife was sitting in my sheath. All right, wield the Beretta and store the combat knife in the sheath. There we go. I see. Well, a good storyteller is hard to replace, though. I did hear a gunshot there. That's, uh... It's a bad thing. So I'll I'll avoid that direction for now. Call me overcautious, but honestly, I don't have a good feeling if I hear a gunshot and there's a a zombie that I don't want to fight right now in the same spot. Okay. So we got that. We got that uh, neighborhood there. I don't feel like going for the apartment tower further here, due to the simple reason that I want to let sleeping dogs lie. If I if I go upstairs there and activate all those zombies up there, and then they swarm downstairs, then I have to take care of them. Right now they are in a uh, in a in a status where they are not activated yet, and that's good. So we're going to I'm going to conquer the town into that direction now. The trailer park here might be an annoying uh, thing to go for, but it's also good training. Speaking about which. 
Do you want to raise strength? Yes, I do. Boomer zombie. Oh, shoot. Okay. That place is pretty dangerous. My god. Okay, so that's the point where I want to take rest for today. So guys, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to go offline for today. A little bit earlier than the usual, I know, but I I had a little bit of trouble in uh, seeing the screen properly because I was already a little bit sleepy. And that is nothing that I want to take while I'm feeling the least little bit tired. So I'm going to see you all tomorrow. And thanks for hanging around, everybody. And yeah. Sorry, Ash. But, well, next time we're going to make it and we're going to see each other a little bit longer, I guess. I hope you guys have a good time. See you soon. Bye bye.